Hello students, this is your English lesson. Today we will read unit number 18 from Oxford Reading Circle, book 7. So we start our lesson. This is page number 174 and the title of the unit is Bees. In the British Isles, there are over 200 different kinds of bee, but the favorite is the hive or honey bee. In early times, before the days of cheap sugar, the honey bee was very important for not only did she produce honey for sweetening food and for making meat, but she also produced wax. The honey bee, much smaller than the big noisy bee we often see, is more like a wasp and from early spring until late autumn, we can find her at working in orchards and gardens. We may even see her in the winter for own mild days she will fly around. However, she is very quiet in her work. Only two of the many kinds of bees that we have are social. They live together as a colony and those are the bumblebee and the honeybee. But there are differences between them. Honeybees are social the whole year round. Bumblebees are social only in the summer. In the early autumn, the workers and drones die and only the young, young queens are left to hibernate. Bumblebees do not store honey. The natural home of the honeybee is in a hollow tree. Here the workers having gorged themselves with honey and clustered quietly for about 24 hours build waxen combs from the small scales of wax which appear in the wax pockets in the abdomen. In these combs they rear their brood and store honey. Until recent years they were kept in straw hives and little was known of the work they did inside. Moreover, they had to be killed at the end of the season so that the honey might be taken. Today they are kept in wooden hives and provided with wooden frames containing shears of wax on which they build their combs. Beekeepers can thus easily remove the combs. During the winter, the quiet time for bees, they cluster on the combs containing food and will number one queen and something like 20,000 workers. But in the summer, there will be about 80,000 workers and hundreds of drones. In each hive, there is only one queen. She is the mother of the colony and an egg line machine. The number of eggs she lays depends upon the amount of food fed to her by the workers. In the summer, she may lay 3,000 a day. In shape, she is longer than the workers and walks on the comb with her wings folded across her back. She has no wax pockets or pollen baskets on her back legs. Her sting is curved and rarely is used, used against humans. She may live as long as 5 years, but by that time, she is well past her best. It is usual for beekeepers to replace her at the end of our second season. This is known as requeening. Queening. Requeening. The drones, male bees, are the largest in the colony. Their only duty is the fertilization of young queens. They have no sting and do not work in the hive. On the approach of autumn, the workers turn them out of the hive to die. The workers who are imperfect females especially fitted for work to all the work of the hive they work so hard that in the summer day live only for about six weeks there is little work to do in the winter and then they live for about six months almost as soon as they are born they start to work and spend the first two weeks inside the hive they clean out the cells for the queen to lay eggs feed and clean the queen attend to the grub guard the hive against robber bees and wasps. They also fan with their wings not only to keep the hive cool but also to help in the ripening of the honey. Then they start to work outside the hive collecting water, propolis, nectar and pollen. They require the water at breeding time to thin down the honey to make food for grub grubs and a strong stalk will collect as much as one pint a day. Propolis, a gummy substance that collect from trees is used as a cement to stop up 
crevices and to make things cure. But bees do not collect honey, they gather a sweet liquid called nectar which is secreted by the flowers to attract visitors. The nectar which uh, much of which is water is carried home in the honey sack inside the bee's body and on the journey home and after being placed in the cells much of the water is driven off. This is part of the process of changing nectar into honey and is known as ripening. The, the honey sack of a bee holds about one-fifth of a drop of nectar and it is estimated that if one bee uh, could collect one pound of honey which it cannot, it would have to fly a distance equal to twice round the globe. The pollen is gathered for use as food by the bees. It is part of a process called pollination. It becomes in tangled in the body hairs of the bee hairs hairs of the bees and is transferred from flower to flower resulting in the production of fruit and seed pollination is the real work of the honey bee and in that way she helped in the production of food such as fruit and feed crops all the pollen is not required for pollination and as she flies from flower to flower she combs it from herself and packs it into the pollen baskets she has on her back legs. Then on reaching the hive, it is placed in the cells and the bees pack it down hard by hitting it with their heads. The eggs from which the grubs hatch are tiny but they have a yolk and a shell. On the third day, the eggs hatches into a grub. This is fed by the workers and on the ninth day, the cell is sealed over with a capping of wax and pollen then wonderful changes take place inside the cell the larva turns into the perfect insect and finally bites its way through the capping two sorts of egg are laid by the queen one is not fertilized and it produces the drone the other is fertilized and turns into either a worker or a queen according to the type of cell in which it is laid and to the food which is fed to the grub which hatches from it. If it is to produce a queen, it is laid in a queen cell which hangs in, in upside down on the comb and looks like a peanut while the grub which hatches from it is fed on a very rich food called royal, royal jelly. Most of the cells forming a comb are worker cells, small and six-sided and are used either for brood rearing or for the storage of honey. When the grub is hatched in those cells, it is fed on a less rich food and turns into a worker, a very different insect from a queen. The main part of a hive is the brood chamber containing large combs. It is the bee's permanent home and is used for brood rearing and the storage of honey. In the honey season, chambers containing smaller combs and called supers are placed above the brood chamber and there the bee and there the bees store honey which is to be extracted to prevent the queen laying eggs in the supers a slotted metal sheet a queen excluder is placed over the brood chamber. It allows the workers but not the larger queen to pass through. When the combs in the super are filled with honey, the cells are sealed by the bees with a capping wax and they are then ready for removal from extraction. To do this, the beekeepers uses a broad known as an escape board which is placed between the super and the brood chamber in it is a useful device which allows the bees to leave the super but prevents their return. The super now empty of bees is then removed but before extraction can be performed the wax cappings first have to be sliced off with a hot knife. The combs are placed in an extracting machine in which they are Wild round, thus throwing out the honey. The honey is then passed through a straining tank so that all the particles may be removed. 
If the honey season is still on, the empty combs are placed in their racks and put back on the hive to be refilled. But if the honey season is over, they are put back on the hive to be cleaned up by the bees and are then packed up in the readiness for next season. Some combs are not extracted and these are the small squares of comb card sections which are sold almost as they are taken from the hive. These are some expensive as new combs have to be built by the bees each year. In the honey season, should the supers not be placed on the hive and sometimes even when they are, the hive becomes overcrowded with bees, brood and honey and it is at such times that the queen and several thousand of bees will leave the hive to find a new home. This is known as swarming. But not all the bees live in the swarm for several thousands are left behind to gather with plenty of food and brood and one or more queen cells. It is from one of these cells that a young queen will be born and after she is mated will become the mother of the stock. As to the swarm, the bees fly round and round and finally settle in a huge cluster. There the, they will rest for a time and if not collected by the beekeeper, they will fly off to make a new home in a hollow tree or in the roof of a house. Swarming is a great nuisance to the beekeeper. Nuisance and act which is harmful and means a loss of honey to him especially if he loses the swarm for it means he has lost 30,000 or more bees. There are many methods of trying to prevent it and the principle in them all is to prevent overcrowding in the hive. In most of them the stocks have to be examined and that is known as manipulation. Most people think of bees as insects with a sting and forget that as the bee dies after stinging, she generally uses her sting as a weapon of defense. Everything depends upon the way in which they are handled. If the beekeeper is cool, calm and collected, does not make jerky movements and if he walks with the bees when the weather is not wet, windy or thundery, the bees will not be inclined to sting. The beekeeper uses a thin whale made of black silk net to prevent an energy bee from stinging him. He will also have a chisel-like appliance called a hive tool to help him remove the combs and parts of the hive stuck down with propels. propolis. But his most important appliance is the smoker consisting of a firebox and nozzle fixed to a pair of small bellows. In the firebox, he burns corrugated paper, corrugated sheets of uh, iron or old sacking. When the smoke from this smoldering material is puffed, smoldering process of burning slowly. Smolding material is puffed into the hive. The bees become frightened, gorge themselves with honey. Gorge mean, uh, means fill, fill themselves with honey and are less bad tempered. Towards the end of the summer, the queen lays fewer eggs and the combs are filled with honey for use by the bees as winter food. As the weather grows colder, the bees fly less. In the winter, they cluster quietly together on the combs containing food and there they remain until the spring. Although the real work of the honey bees is the pollination of flowers, their importance to the beekeeper is the production of honey. The amount one stock will produce depends on the countryside. For bees have a flying range of about 2 miles. Also upon the weather and the scale of the beekeeper, it may be a few pounds per hive or may be as much as 200 pounds. But in addition to the honey which is taken from them, the bee require some as food. After all, it is their honey. Now come to the exercises. A questions. 
वन हाउ मैनी डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ बीज आर सेट टू लिव इन द ब्रिटिश आयल्स आंसर इज ओवर टू फिफ्टी डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ बीज आर सेट टू लिव इन द ब्रिटिश आयल्स टू वट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स डू बीज प्रोड्यूस आंसर फॉर मेकिंग हनी स्वीटनिंग फूड एंड फॉर मेकिंग वैक्स थ्री वट आर टू डिफरेंसिस बिटवीन हनी बीज एंड बम्बल बीज आंसर द हनी बी इज मच स्मॉलर दैन द बिग नोइी बी विच इज मोर लाइक अ वैस्प हनी बीज आर सोशल ऑल यर राउंड वेयर एज बम्बल बीज आर सोशल ओनली इन समर्स फोर What are the benefits of using hives? Answer: Hives help the bees remove combs. Earlier bees were killed, but now they can live in hives and produce their combs. Five. How long do worker bees live for? Answer is: Worker bees live for five years. Six. How many worker bees can be found in a hive in the summer? answer 80000 worker bees can be found in a hive in the summer seven what do worker bees do in the hive and outside the hive answer uh, inside the hive they clean out the cells for the queen to lay eggs feed and clean the queen attend to the grubs and guard the hive against robber bees and wasps they also fan their wings to keep the hive cool and to ripen the honey outside the hive they collect water propolis nectar and pollen 8 how much watery nectar can a strong stalk of bees collect in a day answer one pint a day 9 what is propolis and what is it used for answer a gummy substance collected by honey bees to fill the crevices and to fix and varnish honey combs 10 what is the real work of bees answer the real work of bees is pollination of flowers and production of honey 11 how is the honey extracted by bees from honey combs answer the nectar which is much of water is carried home in the honey sac inside the bee's body and on the journey home and after being placed in the cells much of the water is driven off the nectar is changed into honey 12 what is the bee's flying range answer is bee's flying range is about 2 miles 13 what is swarming and what negative impact can it have on bee keepers answer overcrowding in the hives is called swarming loss of honey is a negative impact to the bee keepers 14 what tools and equipment does a bee keeper use and what are they for answer the tools used by a bee keeper are a smoker consisting of a fire box a nozzle fixed to a pair of small bellows to prevent an angry bee from stinging him 15 can you imagine a world without bees what would be missing from such a world answer a world without bees would have very little plant growth we would have less flowers and plants for food animals and birds would have would not have enough food to eat it would be a very bleak world indeed the reference to context read these lines from the story then answer the questions one the honey sac of a bee holds about 1/5 of a drop of nectar a What is nectar and where do bees get it from? Answer: The sweet liquid collected by bees is called nectar. They get it from the flowers. B: What is mixed in with the nectar that the bees collect? What is the process of getting rid of most of this called? Answer: Water is collected. This process is called ripening. 
सी हाउ मेनी टाइम्स वुड अ बी हैव टू फिल इट्स हनी सैक इन ऑर्डर टू कलेक्ट वन ड्रॉप ऑफ नेक्टर आंसर अ बी वुड हैव टू फिल इट्स हनी सैक ट्वाइस टू कलेक्ट वन ड्रॉप ऑफ नेक्टर टू एवरीथिंग डिपेंड्स अपॉन द वे इन विच दे आर हैंडल्ड ए हाउ शुड दे बी हैंडल्ड आंसर इफ द बी कीपर इज कूल काम एंड कलेक्टेड and if he does not jerk the bees will not sting b what happens if they are mishandled answer if they are mishandled they will sting c what weather condition are ideal c the weather should not uh, be wet thundery or windy c words and meaning look up the meanings and use these words in sentences sentences drawn as a noun outside the tent i could hear the constant drone of insects comb as a noun she washed her face and dragged a comb to make her hair style rear as a verb the horse reared suddenly as it heard the gun shot to complete the sentences below using the listed words in the blanks A bees are important to food production because they pollinate flowers B in order to stop bees from swarming bee keepers check on their stock and skill it to prevent manipulate C the amount of honey that a uh, overcrowding of bees produces is dependent dependent on the weather of the bee keeper and the type of surrounding countryside d bees are not inclined to sting if the bee keeper is cool calm and collected and does not make jerky movements d discuss and write one write down three facts about bees discuss in class which facts are most interesting or important answer three facts about bees are number 1 there are 25000 different species of bees number 2 not all bees sting number 3 honey bees are very much important pollinators for flowers fruits and vegetables two either create a fact file about bees which includes at least eight important facts or write an account of a day in the life of a worker honey bee answer a day in the life of a worker honey bee bees live short but busy life the average life span of a bee is only 6 weeks they come out of their cells working and keep at it until their wings give out most of the worker bees get up with the sun she gives herself a quick start by cleaning herself off and stretching out her wings a few worker bees specialize in getting water guarding the hive sometime instead of making bee bread herself she passes the nectar off to a processor bee who passes it and uh, pa- passes it on again to another worker bee Thanks for listening. For new videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you like my videos, please share and like.